Okay. So, prepped over it is. I'm just trying to gather a few things to start working on this year and Ramos um, challenge. I have been checking the website nanoramos.org uh, this year they I have spotted uh, prep 101 for helping uh, writers to find and plot their story before uh, November comes I just browsed through all the the different uh, resources that they give us there so I'm I didn't this is a six week um, setup so it's not uh, just for October it's uh, six weeks before uh, we can do one of these things and just so when we get to November we have kind of everything lined up to start writing um, the zero draft or the one draft whatever you want to call it week one was develop a story idea so f for uh, people that for writers that need to find uh, what they are writing about that's not my uh, personal case because this year I already know what I am going to do for Nano I have been uh, working on it for a few years now so I have been writing a series or a, tr a trilogy for now it's a, a trilogy I don't know if it will evolve to um, to a series because I don't know <laughs> I know that I have a first book uh, okay my perfectionist talking uh, the first book isn't ready not by any standards. I do uh, realize that I need to uh, thicken some plots there, uh, especially for the villains, because it's not one villain, it's um, kind of a group thing, so there are more than one villain. And I have been um, pushing that part away because <laughs> I was too involved in writing, okay, so this is a fantasy romance, um, it has its uh, urban fantasy, kind of young adult, so I have a, a big part of it is a romance and set in a world um, that I have been kind of creating not taking it too much out of reality because it is something that I always like to do so I like to write but I like to write fantasy but always trying to anchor it on reality not just uh, okay so it's magic poof, and it happens no it has to have something that we can um, kind of track back to Okay, maybe in an alternative way this might be possible, something like that. So, I have been um, working on that part, which I will not lie, it's my favorite part of writing uh, this book specifically. But now I have to uh, evolve to the second book, um, and on the second book, I have my characters. Before November, I do need to 
to dedicate myself to this part of the uh, villains because it's kind of messy and when we are writing, uh, at least for me, I, I like to have uh, guidance and this guidance for my story can only come from knowing what I want the main points are going to be, the main plot points, so uh, I need to uh, invest some time in finding out how I'm going to uh, make these villains uh, appear more, because until now it was somewhat um, always happening in the backstage, so our main characters aren't fully aware that they are being manipulated by uh, these villains. So, week one, it's story idea, kind of, uh, it's done, right? Week two, create unique characters. I have already characters for the three books. I kind of have the plot all lined up for the three books, uh, but not specifically for, especially for the last book, because I'm still working some stuff out. I'm still on the idealization part of these two final books. Then, week three, construct a detailed plot or outline. Uh, I have been doing this for years now. I have uh, adop adopted different methods. One of those methods were uh, at the beginning a paper roll full of uh, plot points of what is going to happen, what happens in each, uh, in each chapter, what happens in each scene. Um, so I have this for the three books, but the first one is the the finished one, so it's the most complete. The other ones are just uh, big ideas. So I do still need to work on uh, construct the outline, the plot, the detailed plot and outline for those two books. Then, week four, build a strong world for your characters. Shouldn't we be doing this <laughs> on week one when we develop the story idea? I don't know. I guess maybe it would make more sense then. But so I have my world for my characters. I have been working on um, understanding a bit better how I want this to proceed. But I do have the research done mostly, uh, even though I like to go and research things. Uh, while I'm still working on them because sometimes there are the ideas that only came up, come up when we are doing something uh, related so it, it's not a done deal I'm always researching and I'm always looking at uh, how things could be done week five <coughs> grow your writing community week six find schedule and manage your time Okay, I have been thinking about this and I don't, I still don't know how I'm going to, um, when I'm going to fit uh, my nano writing time because um, first it never depends solely on me. I have family, I have a daughter and usually my writing schedule revolves around her being um, at school or uh, sleeping or doing other things. But on the other hand, I like to maintain a regular, so a routine. I like to, if I write at 6 a.m. every day, I wake up at 6 a.m. And I will write for two hours, whatever, two or three hours um, for this project. And then I'll go about my day and do the other things that I have to do. 
and do not worry about it anymore. Or last year, for example, I ended up writing my book uh, at night, so around the dinner time. Okay, I was doing inter intermittent fasting, so usually I didn't uh, have dinner. So what I did, I was, uh, but I I still have to be uh, available because she dines at home, and. What I would do, I would go with my laptop for, to the kitchen and while she eats, I write and then I put all the things away that I have to do, I clean up stuff and then I sat down and write until her bedtime. So usually it was two or three hours on, on that, on all of that. But this will depend if I will do the morning routine or the... Uh, late night routine but still I have Halloween and usually I do a readathon on Halloween uh, it's kind of my way to celebrate Halloween because here we, we are not so big on on that celebration but I have um, tied it to my readings so usually the those are the the days the two or three days depending on which day of the week it will uh, it will be to read uh, horror only books that I usually don't pick up during the, the year because I'm a bit squeamish with terror with horror I'm being honest, I'm a bit squeamish. <laughs> I don't see horror movies. I freak out for years. No, thank you so much. This year, 31 is it's a Tuesday. So I have Monday and Tuesday. I don't know if I will be doing Sunday also. Uh, four days I don't think I will be doing uh, Saturday Sunday Monday and Tuesday I think it's a bit too much for for me and not that I don't have books enough books to do it <laughs> because I do I have been adding up to this uh, Halloween collection so that I have enough to choose from I have finished uh, Nano's ideas for Preptober I am trying to gather all my notes uh, in stuff that I want to do not just on the first book but on the second and on the third because I have already been having some ideas for the third book of this series which I am going to uh, put it on my notes app and have them ready to use and not be just using pieces of turned up turned paper me drawings by her to have notes on so I will will be putting these notes on my computer and trying to work a bit on my blog in the meantime and finally have the courage to edit some videos because I have a lot of backlog which I haven't been attending to and which probably by this time are completely irrelevant. Okay.
Ah, she's coming, Kyle. 